Hi, I'm going to take you through a few steps that will help you get started quickly and easily with your Docebo LMS. Docebo is a modular app-based platform that allows you to turn on or off functionality at any time based on your needs. As a first step, we recommend you to configure the look and feel of the platform. Open the admin menu. In the branding and look and feel, you can set the logo, customize the sign-in page, adjust the layout and colors for your LMS, fine-tune the system using any custom CSS, set appearance and behavior of your course player. Once you have set up visual appearance of your LMS, it is time to add users to the platform. From this page, you can create, edit, import users, and manage the organizational chart. There are different levels of users that you can create on your platform. Each level will have their own set of permissions. For each user, you can define general information, such as the username, the level, email, first and last name, password, and set expiration and language preferences. On the second step, select one or multiple organizational chart branches the user belongs to. You do not need to manually create all users, as you can import each user. You can import users from CSV, LDAP, or from one of the connected applications. Let's create the first course. Open the course management page. Here you can create and manage your courses and enroll users. Enter the course name, Select one of the three course types, choose or upload a thumbnail, enter a description. Hit Confirm to jump to the course management page. To add a new resource, click on the Add Training Materials button. Docebo makes it easy for you to upload your existing training material, supporting a wide range of formats, and choose how it is displayed on multiple devices. What you can see here is one way of setting up a learner platform. But keep in mind that there are many other widgets that you can also add to achieve the look and feel you want. You can group courses in learning plans, so learners can follow a specific order when they are taking their courses. One course can be set as a prerequisite to another. Let's now cover how to distribute content to learners. Docebo offers a variety of ways to do this, you can enroll users by branches, that is, using your org chart or your partner or customer structure, or by groups, which is cross-hierarchy, for example, all director-level employees in the company. Here, we will enroll a branch. Note that you can even set up auto-enrollment rules so that users with specific properties, such as everyone in a leadership role, are enrolled automatically. As we mentioned earlier, Docebo allows you to turn on or off functionality at any time based on your needs. The idea is that you can start small, without being overwhelmed with too many features on the screen, and add functionality as your learning projects evolve. As an example, you can add gamification features after you go live. Available apps depend on your plan. Course catalogs group together courses, allowing you to create a customized syllabus for your users. Catalogs can be made visible to all users or to specific groups or branches. Activate the Course Catalog app and then create your catalog. To add courses to catalogs, simply select a course and add it to a catalog. Catalogs can be internal, available to enrolled users after login, or external, available without logging in. With the additional Coach and Share app, you can introduce informal learning into your organization. Let's start from channels. Thematic channels are a smart way to encourage informal type of learning assets, such as user-contributed videos and documents. You will see a list of existing channels. To add new channel, click on the New Channel button, add its name and description. Click Next to set up the channel look and feel by defining the icon and its colors. Click Next to edit the channel visibility. You can decide to show it to everyone on the system or just to specific groups or branches. Now, define channel permissions. Enable users to upload and publish assets to the channel, require pre-moderation of the assets, or restrict uploading only to experts. All users that are included into your choice of visibility will now see the channel and, depending on the permissions, will be able to access the content or contribute to the channel. 
Here's a quick example of what your dashboard might look like with channels and content added. Now that you have your channels created, it is time to assign some users as experts. Experts are people in your organization who have a specialist working knowledge on a given subject. Experts can be reached by learners through questions and answers and channels. Here you can perform two key actions. You can select the experts or assign channels. On this step, you can select one or several channels that this user will be an expert for. You can assign multiple experts to multiple channels by clicking here. Let's look at gamification. Gamification boosts learners' engagement and increases knowledge retention. You can assign badges, create leaderboards, hold contests, and enable a reward shop. Let's add a new badge. Add the title and description. In this section, you can also set up points that serve as a quantitative amount of the achievement. As an example, you can earn coins to spend in your reward shop. You can also define the badge icon to better reflect the nature of the achievement and then you can set automatic badge assignment. You can use specific conditions, such as user completed a course or met a goal in the Coach and Share app. This is just the start of what's possible with your Docebo LMS. A detailed product documentation is available on our website and you can contact our learning and support team at any time. We hope this helped and thanks for watching.